This week, I'm at Big Sky Trail, which is located off of Erringer in the Big Sky uh, housing development. I'm at the entrance at uh, Erringer and Falcon Street. Big Sky Trail is a fairly easy trail here in Simi Valley. It's about a total of four miles if you walk the entire trail up and back down and is accessible off of Erringer and actually in about five different places there's access points where it goes through this neighborhood. So I'm about halfway up this hill and you can see the view really starts to increase you can see the entire West Valley of Simi Valley. So I'm almost at the summit of this long hill. I'll be up there shortly and I'll show you some of the views. Uh, if you do decide to come out here, take the western route, not the eastern, because it is a pretty steep uphill climb. So I reached the summit of this first hill. It's a little hard to see, but there's the Reagan Library over on that hill. Here's a little closer zoom in of the Reagan Library that you can see from up here. The highest point is 1,460 feet, and where you start down on Erringer, it's a little over 1,000 feet elevation. So you're going up a little over 400 feet to get up here, but boy, it sure seems like a lot more than that. You're looking over toward Moore Park in that way. Here's Northern Simi. Right up there is the dog park and the girls' softball park. In this way, you can see East Simi all the way to the Santa Susana Pass. It's a little foggy this morning because we had early morning fog, but it's still a spectacular views up here. And this trail is definitely worth the time to walk up here and see the views. You eventually come out on a paved road up near some pretty spectacular homes. But you follow the paved road up around for a little bit and you pick up the rest of Big Sky Trail. And eventually I'll meet up at Lost Canyon Road. And this is where you enter back onto the trail off the paved road. At this point, I don't know if this is a drainage ditch or what, but it is a cement path up here at this point. And another summit reach. This is getting close to the end of this trail. My map says it's 1,310 feet in elevation. And when you come around here, you can see a couple of pretty spectacular homes up here. Beautiful hawk up here soaring around this morning. When I hit this summit right here, it was perched and took off and is just surveying his territory right now, looking for breakfast getting closer and closer. I love how they just float on the air, updrafts. They don't even hardly have to flap their wings. So at this point, I'm gonna start heading downhill and this is gonna be a much easier path for me at this point. Oh, this is so much easier than coming up here, but you gotta be careful even going down the hills. As you can see, most of the wildflowers are gone. Uh, we are in extreme drought here, but even so, there's still enormous amount of beauty out here. Most of these homes range in a million plus now. So the upper and lower loops of Big Sky Trail come together here on Lost Canyon Road near Eagle Flight Drive. So I've walked the upper loop on Big Sky Trail. Uh, my GPS says I've walked 2.4 miles. The map says it's 2.3 miles. So I guess I got a couple extra steps in there. At this point, I'm gonna head back. I'm gonna take the lower loop. That's the way I came the upper loop. So this way, we're going the lower loop. I'm gonna enjoy the journey back. It's about one and a half miles back to my car. Even though it's dry, these plants are very well adapted. Uh, I believe this is a form of elderberry, but the color is just stunning. The lower loop gives you multiple access points to Big Sky Trail. This access point is on Young Wolf Drive. You cross the street and you continue on down the path here. Remember, on the lower trail, your dogs have to stay on a leash. This is the entrance off of Young Wolf going back to the beginning of the trail. A couple doggies over there welcoming me. So shortly down the path of a Young Wolf Drive, you come into this nice little riparian area. 
And, I don't know, some big critters live in here. Maybe a groundhog, not sure, could be a fox. The lower loop is definitely the easier trail of the two. So in this point of the trail, we actually cross over the arroyo, the water feature here, and go on the other side as we come up toward the very end of the trail. So I ended up back here where I began at Erringer and Falcon here at the trailhead entrance. There is parking across the street. There's no parking on Erringer. I want to remind you there are five access points for this park here at Erringer and Falcon where I'm at now. There is Legends, Legacy, Young Wolf Drives, and at the very end, Lost Canyon. You will have to park in the neighborhood for all of these. There is no public parking per se. There is a little small lot here at Falcon that will accommodate a few cars. So I hope you've enjoyed your time out here. I want to thank you for joining me. Uh, I've had a great time out here at Big Sky Trail. Unbelievable views out here. You can just see the surrounding country and what a gorgeous place we live in. So until the next time, thanks for joining me.